हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल दिस इज नंदिनी आनंद वेलकम टू माय चैनल फैशन एंड लाइफस्टाइल हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप आई एम एट द नैरोबी रेलवे म्यूजियम सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट द नैरोबी रेलवे म्यूजियम इज एडजेसेंट टू नैरोबी रेलवे स्टेशन Taining exhibits from the East African Railways it was opened in 1971 by East African Railways and Harbors Corporation it is operated by Kenya Railways Museum collection includes early diesel locomotives and passenger coaches The Uganda Railway was a meter gauge railway system and former British state owned railway company Line linked the interiors of Uganda and Kenya with Indian Ocean port of Mombasa in Kenya. After a series of mergers and splits, the line is now in hands of Kenya Railways Corporation and the Uganda Railways Corporation. Construction of railway from Mombasa to Uganda was proposed in 1890. As a part of construction of railway linking Uganda with Indian Ocean in Kelandi Harbour in March 1898 the British started building the railway bridge over the Tsavo River in Kenya the project was led by lieutenant colonel john henry patterson tsavo region which were responsible for deaths of number of construction workers on the kenya uganda railway between march and december 1898 The significance of this lion pair was their unusual behavior of killing men and the manner of their attacks. John Henry Patterson who arrived just few days before the disappearance and killing began. During the next 9 months of construction two male Savo lions attacked and dragged workers from their tents at night. The crew tried to scare off the lions by building thorn fences and campfires. All to no avail the lions leaped over or crawled through the thorn fences as the attack mounted hundreds of workers fled from Savo halting the construction on the bridge Patterson set traps and tried several times to ambush the lions at night from a tree after repeated unsuccessful attempts he shot the first lion on 9 December 1898 Twenty days later, the second lion was found and killed. The second lion was shot up to nine times: five with the same rifle and three with the second, and one with the third rifle. It's really a big sigh of relief, and the construction crew returned and finished the bridge in February 1899. The exact number of people killed by the lions is unclear. Patterson gave several figures overall claiming that there were around 135 victims. You can also find the notorious man eater lion pictures in the Nairobi Railway Museum. Take a look. There is also a movie inspired by this story, The Ghost and the Darkness, in 1996. It was an American historical adventure film directed by Stephen Hopkins. starring Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. The story is a fictionalized account of the Savo man eaters, two Savo lions that attacked and killed workers at Savo, Kenya during the building of Uganda Mombasa Railway East Africa in 1898. step into the world of steam engines and steel rails on an excursion of Nairobi Railway Museum and a historic Nairobi Railway Station. The museum exhibits steam locomotives, rolling stock, small exhibits, models and many other artifacts. The museum's four sections are divided into the main gallery, museum resource center, auditorium and the outdoor display area. The main gallery where you will find the company crests of railway of East Africa the most predominant being Uganda Railways Kenya Railways and East Africa Railways The three operational steam locomotives are stored securely under cover within the main railway works They have not been used for several years One of the display locomotives 301 Twenty-three not one was used in 1985 movie Out of Africa. Museum's collection also includes early diesel locomotives and passenger coaches.
Friends of Railway Museum East Africa Railway and locomotive enthusiastic has assisted in sourcing and securing artifacts of the museum January 2011 a working miniature railway was installed to enhance activity at the museum This miniature train was formerly used to promote Kenya Railways on exhibition as, such as Nairobi show It consists of locomotive with a petrol engine and several coaches made of wood. A new dawn beckon for Kenya when the standard gauge railway which replaces the more than century old colonial rail railway line rolled out its cargo services at a colorful ceremony at the port of Mombasa onset of the operation of the most outstanding of president Uhuru Kenyatta's flagship projects heralds a new dawn for Kenya so i truly enjoyed my visit to the Nairobi railway museum And this was my today's video hope you enjoyed it please to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos take care bye